Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to copy files from one path to another. So in this, we'll take an example where we'll copy an image file from a download folder to the app data folder. But yeah, logic will uh, remain same for other folders as well. So let's begin. Let's create a quickly an application layout. So it will be copy files app. Click finish, wait for the environment to load, it may take a while. Once the environment loads in Android Studio, uh, I will also start my emulator in parallel on the right hand side so that the uh, emulator can load up. And the first and foremost thing what I will do is I will go to my manifest file and declare uh, the user defined permission. So here since we will be interacting with the external storage, I mean uh, to access the files, I will just give read and write permission and along with this definition I will also go to my java code and ask the user for this permission ok so I think emulator is loading up on the right hand side and app will app has come up of course so I will just minimize it keep it uh, there I will also minimize the project window on the left hand side I don't need it anymore and first and foremost thing what I will do is I will ask the user permission for <coughs> uh, this uh, uh, access to the storage so I will make a string array of uh, manifest dot permission dot yeah one is for the write and the other one could be for the read external storage and I think it is for some reason gone there yeah okay and the last argument could be a package manager dot permission granted so this will be this line will be responsible to ask the user whether they want to give their permission to the end user or not for to write and read the external stories perfect now if i move further i'll also quickly create a public public wide method of button copy and yeah, you, you, perfect. So this is the method which we will insert as a on-click attribute of our trigger button. So whatever the button I will be inserting here. So say for example, yeah, I can name this button as copy, uh, copy files. Yeah, and I just of course give the constraints. I can still move it uh, even if questions are given and I think oh yeah, in the on click attribute I will associate it with the method which we have defined there so if I scroll down e over here yeah perfect so the text view widget which you get by default I think I will keep it as it is and I just give it an id so that I can access it from my java code as well and probably I'll increase the spatial pixels to 24 sp perfect there's no things I'll leave it as it is I don't think we need to change much so yeah I'll quickly go to my java code and take care of this as a private variable the text view widget and if I go to my own grid attribute or on grid method I'll just associate this text view find view by id r dot id dot Texture perfect. Okay, so now this uh, text view, uh, my variable in the Java class, will be associated with the widget. We'll use it to print uh, uh, our output. Now, in my button copy, uh, button copy files, probably I can rename it files. Yeah, okay, I think since I renamed, I may have to go back to my. Uh, layout and over here in this on click attribute I may have to change it to the button copy files here anyway so once you are uh, yeah so first and foremost thing what I will need is the source and the uh, destination uh, file name so first let me work on the source part which is the download uh, folder so for that what I will do is I will create something called a storage manager and um, get system service 
okay and this could be a storage service yeah perfect and i think i think i forgot to yeah perfect just cast it if it asks you to do so uh, and then from a storage uh, manager what i can do is i can extract a storage uh, volumes so storage volume list and i don't know why okay, alt enter so uh, import the list uh, class and over here what i'll do is i will extract all the volumes from this a storage manager dot get storage volumes and this will return me all the storage volumes of this system and then from this uh, uh, storage volume list we will we can pull out the storage volume of our interest so we should be of the index uh, a storage volume list of index zero so i think dot get and zero is index from the list Perfect. Now we'll use this storage volume to define our file, which will be our source uh, file, source uh, destination, uh, and then there will be another one destination. And here, what we can do, we can create new file storage volume dot get directory dot get path. Perfect. So this will get me the path of the uh, internal storage volume and then after that we can uh, use something uh, yeah uh, we can hard code the path or the file name okay so first uh, i will like to quickly go back to my emulator and sh uh, show you which file we are intending to uh, copy so if i go to my files and i can see that several files but let's try to copy this image.jpg file which is my download folder from a download folder to the apps uh, data folder okay so i will again uh, minimize this for a time being and i just complete this so this is download slash image dot jp easy perfect and so this is my source now i will try to create quickly my destination file path so file destination the place where it has to be copied and for that uh, what i will do is i will probably uh, yeah again new file and then here i will get external storage files directory which is which refers to the uh, directory of that of this particular app and string type i can give null so it uh, paste at the root of this external files directory i show you once once we've done this it will be much more clear and then i can give the uh, child which is the file name basically so i can either use the same file or i can use something like a uh, uh, probably underscore destination uh, destination dot jp easy perfect now we can start our copy paste so for that i will Quickly create first a try catch exception here, and here I can use my text view to set text error and probably plus e dot to string to print what is the exception being drawn in my text view which we have created in the uh, over here. Okay. However, if it's successful, then I think we should print that as well. So I'll do one thing in the try catch at the end. I'll just print success. So that as an end user, I know whether it is successful or there is some error uh, and act accordingly. Now in this copy paste, is the code is pretty simple. First, we have to create something called input stream, which will take the input from the uh, my new, uh, I mean, uh, source file. So, new file input stream, and uh, what I'll do is file source. Perfect. Similarly, I'll create one output stream, and this will create output stream, new file output stream, and 
this is the destination perfect now i will read the data from input to the output in some kind of byte uh, format so we can create a byte array so byte array which can act like a buffer so byte array buffer and this we can create probably an array of size um, of course um, probably 1024 bytes okay now once we have it then what we can do we can uh, create another variable called integer length this will use to copy the data one by one uh, from the input stream so in this what we can do is we can probably get this int length from my input stream so input stream dot read and yeah over here we will use this second one byte buffer and byte array buffer if this is greater than zero then definitely we should try to do a, a copy which is basically write to this and what we have to write is the buffer which we have copied uh, which we have got above and uh, off and then the length is what we have integer length perfect and i think that's all this this will work in while loop and it will copy one by one the complete thing what we can do is just we can make sure that we close everything at the end so we close the input stream and output stream at the end yeah perfect so that's all i can run this code in my emulator and see how it comes up So it's asking for access. Please give it yes. And now if I click, it says success. Great. So it was pretty quick. So if I quickly go, so this is my download folder, image.jpg file, which I expect to get copied to my uh, app folder with the name image destination.jpg. So let me quickly go to the app folder, which you can go using this Android over here, and then data, and then we have to find the right file name which is mostly the package name uh, uh, there is the folder which should have created or got created by the same name as the package name here i'm pretty sure this is that folder so yeah it's the same so this is the file and if i go to the files perfect so i can see a uh, uh, file with the name as image destination so how can i show you the complete name of this file get info i think it may show yeah so this is the file which you got created or, or copied because uh, yeah with this name probably i can do one thing i can quickly change this name as image one so that i what i expect is over here but more file will get copied uh, with the same of the same image only the file name will be this time image uh, uh, one dot jpg and of course the time stream will be different so let me read the it and see how it comes up click this it again says success i just go to my this folder perfect i can see another file has got created and if i probably i can open it and if i go like this this also gives me the file name here if you are able to notice if i zoom it yeah it says image uh, destination one dot jpg or i can also see the no not this one if i go back and if i uh, do a get info yeah so image destination one dot jpeg file perfect so that's all i wanted to show you that uh, how easy it is um, uh, to copy the files uh, it's just you have to create input and output streams and then one by one using some kind of uh, uh, buffer byte buffer you have to uh, read the things from input stream and then write it in the output stream so i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions then or, or suggestions then please put in the comment section uh, below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and have a nice day bye